Thank you. Member Statements. The member for Waterloo. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Ford government has established a pattern. When making policy decisions, they willfully ignore sound evidence and research. Now they have gone so far that they have cut funding for organizations that drive research and innovation. Yesterday, funding for the Ontario Institute for Regenerative Medicine was cut. Their work put Ontario on the leading edge of stem cell research attracting a high quality researchers who are producing life-saving work. One of their most promising projects was working to prevent lung damage in premature babies. To add insult to injury, their funding was cut before they could even finish conducting a review of their return on the investment as a research institution. Funding has also been cut to the Moat Centre, which provided research and analysis on public policy. Ironically, they were doing good enough work that the government cited them in their, their own budget. <laughs> and last week, Communitech in Kitchener-Waterloo laid off 15 people after the government cut their funding by 30 per cent. They support 1,400 companies and have helped establish Waterloo Region as a global innovation leader. For every public dollar invested in Communitech, 22 are wow. returned to the economy. From growing our tech sector to stem cell research to public policy, these organizations were producing results, yet the Ford government still gave them the axe because with Fordian logic, if the source of the facts is eliminated, the facts don't exist. Huh. Leaving policy decisions to be made based on feelings or the desires of the Premier's friends. It's a dark day in Ontario when facts are so callously disregarded. This is definitely not for the people. Mr. Speaker. 